This video will cover how to set up different failsafe modes, including standard failsafe features and safe failsafe. Safe failsafe setup requires having configured and tuned at least one flight mode with safe self level slash angle demand mode. To set up failsafe features, let's go to Ford Programming. Here we'll go to Other Settings. The first menu item here is Failsafe. These are basic failsafe configurations that are not related to the safe failsafe, but we'll cover that one later. The second item here, Capture Failsafe Positions, allows you to set your radio stick inputs and switches that are assigned to channels in a position you might desire, and then when you capture them, it'll save those positions as failsafe outputs. However, the outputs won't automatically default to those positions when you fail safe. Let's go to fail safe. Here, you can tweak individual output configurations. In this case, we have right aileron selected, and you can see that the position is negative 15%, which is what I had my trim set to. However, the custom fail safe is hold last. So regardless of this setting, if I lose signal, it's just going to use the last value that it received. However, if I use presets, it'll use those captured failsafe positions from that previous feature we went over. By default, all failsafe channels except for throttle are set to hold last. Throttle is set to preset by default because if you turn off your radio, you'll want the throttle to default off in case you're in the pit or something of that matter. That is a brief overview of the basic failsafe functionality. Next, let's go over safe fail safe. We'll go all the way back to our main menu and now go to gyro settings. From gyro settings, we'll go to system setup, safe slash panic mode setup. Here at the bottom, there are two settings. The first one is safe fail safe flight mode. If you watched the panic video, we went over how the flight mode value that you choose will be where this mode gets its gains from. We currently have flight mode 3 as a safe flight mode, but we also copied those settings to flight mode 4 in the panic video. One reason for doing this is maybe you want to tweak your flight mode 3 settings, which is the safe mode you use during normal flight, but you don't want this to affect your safe failsafe behavior. So what we did in the panic video is we copied our settings from flight mode 3 to flight mode 4, which is a mode we're not using normally. And then this will be where we get our safe failsafe gains from. Next, we have our failsafe angles. The failsafe angles determine what angle the model will try to achieve when it failsafes if you're using safe failsafe. We like to set these at a bit of a roll angle and a slight pitch up angle. This will make the model turn while also descending instead of just continuing to fly away in a circle. It'll give you a better chance of recovering signal, but also make sure that the model doesn't fly away somewhere you don't want it to. One thing to note with safe failsafe is that it's being enabled by picking a flight mode for it. When you do this, safe failsafe will disregard any preset or hold last values that were set in the basic failsafe settings for anything that's a control surface that it needs to control. Everything else will still follow the basic failsafe functionality set in the other settings menu. To test safe failsafe, you can disable RF on your model either by turning it off or by using the RF off functionality in the IX radios. Once you do this, you should see the model trying to achieve the angle that was set. When we enable RF again, it should go back to normal. This concludes our video on failsafe functionality for the AR637T. Thanks for watching.